We're in the demo lab to look at a demonstration of the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution using balls of different masses. We'll impart energy to the balls by vibrating the walls, and that will simulate temperature. The more energy from the walls, the higher the temperature. Notice at this relatively modest temperature, there's a wide distribution of velocities, some balls moving very rapidly and some moving slowly. But among the more massive balls, that distribution is more narrow. There aren't balls moving very, very rapidly and very, very slowly among the more massive balls. Now, as we decrease the energy from the walls, the temperature will decrease. So the width of the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution curve will narrow. That is, we'll have more balls at lower temperatures and fewer balls at higher temperatures. But notice even at this low temperature, there are still a few balls moving very rapidly. We can increase the temperature by increasing the energy from the walls. And as we do so, we'll notice the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution curve will get wide. We'll have very rapid motions and very slow motions at the same time. So the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution curve must encompass very low velocities and very high velocities. But again, for the more massive balls, that distribution is more narrow than for the light balls. And again, as we decrease the energy, the balls will come to a stop.